All right, hi. I'm Beck Lane, and this is Catalyst and Company. Catalyst and Company, where we become, we're catalysts in each other's lives, lives as well as catalysts in our own, and hopefully we become the artists we've always wanted to be. This is now my second video that I've made. I have a habit of not finding the camera before I'm talking, but I think I know where we are now, so hello. I know it's been several months since I posted a video, and I'll tell you why. I was working um, a, uh, I was working a project or a job where I was on call six, seven days a week, um, anywhere from four hours, working anywhere from four hours a day to doing late into the night or overnight um, hours. And so on my days off, I was exhausted. I was exhausted. I was in a tremendous amount of pain all the time, and uh, but had to keep was trying to keep a focus on on this project or job uh, because I felt I was valued, and it turns out I was not. So um, I did something I haven't done since I was 21 years old. I walked out. And really, anyone who knows me knows I I don't give up easily. I don't. I will bend and acquiesce and uh, justify it in my mind, uh, behaviors that are unacceptable in my mind, just to keep the project going, to keep working upwards. And I reached my limit on Friday, so um, I, 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 I just left. I, I can't work around people who lie and manipulate. Um, I, can't, I can't do it anymore. I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted by it. And after decades and decades and decades of, of, bad, of being around really bad behavior, I just, I can't do it anymore. So I would rather, <laughs> I would rather resort to what I had to do last summer, which is literally eating mangoes out of the front yard tree, um, mangoes and avocados, which sounds fabulous till that's, you know, that one mango is the only thing you have to eat for the day. Uh, I would rather do that than um, be uh, used as uh, used and belittled and uh, and, a, and and a mental and emotional punching bag anymore. I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. Even if it's, you know, even if, if I've been working with people I really deeply cared about, um, I can't do it. I don't do it with friends. I don't do it with family. I'm not doing it. Uh, just because someone's waving a dollar bill at me. I can't do it anymore. So I am now part of the great resignation trend. And I hate being trendy, but I'm part of the great resignation trend. So anyway, I was watching this video uh, about Vincent Van Gogh, and it was really fabulous with Benedict Cumberbatch. And you can catch it either on Amazon Prime through Breakbox, or you can watch sections of it on YouTube. And... Benedict, once again, nailed it. Nailed it entirely. This, the, the program was, uh, or the, the uh, film was based on the letters between Theo and Vincent. Uh, Benedict and, and his brother, they're reading it, the fellow playing his brother are reading the letters and they're going back and forth. Uh, and they go through all the stages of Vincent's life that we all know about. We know really, really well, right down to his death, where he may or may not have gone out into a field and shot himself in the stomach at 37 years old. Uh, and, you know, when they say, well, he was a crazy artist, he was, uh, he was mentally ill, he was this, he was that. I think what really killed Vincent in the end was ambivalence, society's ambivalence. Because as, as we know, um, <laughs> as we know, human, humans, uh, people, uh, develop these trends and they stick to them until they don't stick to them anymore. And the people that buck the, the trends are the people that don't follow the trends because they see a, something differently are oftentimes maligned or uh, pushed to the side of the road as our poor Vincent was. So uh, I think at 37 years old he had reached his limit. And, um, of being a nothing in the world, and in his letters, he says he says to Theo several times, "I am a failure." Vincent Van Gogh saw himself as a failure. The man that we now have learned learned to lift and put on a pedestal 
saw himself as an utter complete failure and he was broken at the time of his death. So it, it's really one of, it's another tragedy in, in human history that we haven't seen the value um, of someone who in the end we determined was great. I think Vincent was painting for a future he didn't know was coming and no one around him bothered to see coming until he was gone. And that ambivalence or people trying to put him into, you know, push him to the side, trying to silence his abilities and his possibilities are what killed him. So, um, in a way, I kind of feel uh, an, a kinship to Vincent because he was painting for a future he didn't know was coming. And until recently, I didn't understand that I had been paint I've been painting for a future I didn't know was coming. Behind me is a painting, and this, I mean, that's pretty arrogant and egotistical of me to say, but that's a thought that's run through my head a million times. Um, behind me is a painting I started April 15th, last year. Well, I started it prior to, because April 15th I had an artist event. It happened to be my birthday, but I had an artist event at a uh, private social club called Waterworks. So I had set the painting up for this. I had done the black and white gessos in the back, black and white gesso in the background like I usually do, uh, put down aerosol, aerosol uh, colors and swipes and textures, and then I brought it to the venue uh, along with all my oil paints and the medium I use, Neil McGilp and, and Mineral Spirits. And not only did I get to paint at the venue, but I got to interact with another young artist who I'm hoping we continue a relationship, a work, uh, you know, an artist to artist relationship with. Um, but I got to interact with people in the club and got them painting. And it was really fun. So you'll see a number of brush strokes in here or patterns uh, like this, excuse me, this particular pattern, there are lines in there that I wouldn't normally use, but someone else has set them down, so I just followed them because maybe it, it had a purpose in the painting. I didn't discount them or erase them because maybe I didn't see, see, them at, see their uh, value at the time. Um, so I left them in and wor worked them in. And it's, oh, here especially, uh, kind of cool, kind of different, kind of cool. So as you can see, this is an abstract painting. And with, with all my abstracts, the paintings are designed to be taken and turned. So the, val the uh, viewer, or the buyer owner, who we have one for this, by the way, uh, the buyer owners, owner, owners, um, don't have one painting, they have four. They can just keep taking it and turning it. Uh, to, so they have more of uh, uh, an interactive experience with the painting. They're tired of seeing, you know, the paint, uh, most paintings, they hang one way, they set that way, that's it, end of story. With my paintings, it's even with the figure work. You can take them and turn them, or you can take them, like the figure work or the portrait work, they're usually done on two, two canvases, so you can take them and split them up. You can set one in one room, one side in the other. You can put them in a corner. There are multiple possibilities. When they're on top of each other, you can remove the la lower layer. Uh, you can set them apart. So. The person, the buyer, the viewer, is actually um, part of the work. It's really important to me that they really, they're invested, they're emotionally and mentally invested in the work. Now, I had uh, something happen. I met, had met someone at Waterworks that, uh, that really made, made uh, um, how do, I don't know how to put it, so I guess I won't put it. Uh, I met someone at Waterworks who works for a lighting company here in Sarasota who has this lighting system that was specifically designed for someone like me. And as we were talking and checking out his lighting system, I realized this is what I have been painting for. This is what my techniques and my brush strokes and my images have been for but I didn't know it. I didn't know it existed. It's a lighting system where, where it works through your smartphone and you can, you can 
change and adjust the colors in the work, whether it's a 2D work or 3D work, adjust and, 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 and um, you can pull out colors that you want to pull out. You can remove all colors and flatten it completely down to a gray scale. You, uh, you can pull out, let's say, the teals and blues. If you want teals and blues that day or that night, for whatever reason, you can pull those out and remove all the color, all other color. You can pull up all color and make it completely vibrant and, and psychedelic. It really was one of the most exciting things I've ever seen because I realized I've been painting for a future I didn't know could exist. I've just been working and working and working and painting and painting and painting and was trying to ex trying desperately to explain to people that in the colors that I use, in different colors and mediums and techniques I use, when light hits, you've heard me say this before, when light hits, different oranges, different reds, different teals, different blues, sunlight will go in, go down to the aerosol, bounce back out and glow. Well, now we've got a lighting system where the viewer or the, the buyer, whomever, isn't dependent on sunlight and how it reacts with the work the viewer can actually control the light and the possibilities. And there are endless possibilities in this lighting system. So I'm really excited about it. I'm, I'm hoping, um, I was supposed to start working with them a while ago, but I don't, I don't know what they're doing. So um, uh, I look forward to working with them soonish, someday-ish. I was just down at this company the other day talking with the owner and um, I'm just hoping this isn't an opportu another opportunity where my abilities, my ideas have been taken and, and given to other people. Hopefully not. Hopefully, you know, we'll go, oh, okay, this is, this is the catalyst. This, this painter is the catalyst. Isn't just the catalyst, but uh, could bring incredible value uh, to, to the company. Um, anyway, regardless... Was there anything else? I'm not sure because this is my second video on, on these different subjects. I've kind of forgotten what I talked about this time or what I haven't touched on this time. But anyway, I'm Beck Lane. This is Catalyst and Company. And now, I, although I'll probably be eating mangoes out of the front yard tree again for the summer, um, I will have more time on my hands and uh, we'll see if I make more videos. I'm not sure if I mentioned this in the beginning, but I have gotten a little tired of social media, so I have withdrawn quite a bit. Uh, but we'll see what happens now. Okay? All right, that's it. Carrie, I'm so sorry I haven't been more communicative lately. I hope you're well. Um, I hope everything's okay in Australia and uh, thinking about you. All right, guys. Ciao. Ciao. Meow, meow, meow. Ready?